Governments may restrict foreign access to their CBDCs, Rick's bank official says not all countries play nicely with each other, complicating how central bank digital currencies will interact with other payment systems, said Cecilia Skingsley, first deputy governor at the Swedish Central Bank. Central bank digital currencies, CBDC, won't be a silver bullet that solves all issues with cross-border payments, according to Cecilia Skingsley, first deputy governor of Sveriges Riksbank. Sweden's central bank. For instance, countries won't necessarily play nicely with each other, making interoperability, or the way CBDCs interact with other payment systems, complex and layered, Skingsley said at the European Central Bank's ECB annual forum on central banking held in Sintra, Portugal, on Tuesday. We have to think about different levels of interoperability, Skingsley said, adding, it's going to be jolly hard for everybody who wants to be part of that to agree on governance and supervision and the like. Skingsley was joined on a panel by ECB executive board member Fabio Panetta, Ulrich Beinsale, ECB Director General of Market Infrastructure and Payments, Princeton economist Marcus Brunnemeyer, and Nehan Arula, a director of the Digital Currency Initiative at the MIT Media Lab. Last year, Payments giant Visa announced it was working on a platform that would enable interoperability between CBDCs and other private digital currencies such as stable coins, which are pegged to the value of another asset such as the US dollar or gold. Skingsley, who recently became the head of the innovation arm at the Bank for International Settlements, BIS, an association follow the URL for the full article for more on this story, visit the news article link.